Small and medium-sized enterprises, or SMEs abbreviated, really are the small companies, the small businesses across the entire business spectrum. There are around 23 million uh, SMEs uh, in Europe. They cover around 99.8% of all businesses in Europe. 90% are the so-called micro-enterprises. SMEs are extremely important for employment in, in Europe. And two out of three uh, people employed by companies in Europe are employed by SMEs and these are around 90-91 million people in, in the EU. Cusco Seng is a private uh, family engineering company and in this moment we have more than 240 employees. I was looking for a job. Ecos gave me this uh, opportunity and I appreciate it very much, it's very nice. I feel that if I will be good, I can have some opportunities for, for the future. In order to remain competition and future expansion, we must have new technology for production. From this reason, we decide to take loan from the bank. SMEs suffered a lot from the crisis in, in Europe, in terms of employment, in terms of output in terms of growth. During the crisis the uh, uncertainty increased a lot and uncertainty is the enemy of investment. Banks were no longer able to actually provide finance to SMEs. Now in Europe in particular it's important because SMEs depend very much on bank debt. Since 2013 or 2014 we see positive signs for SMEs and the recovery. They have generated more than four out of five jobs created over the past five years. This agility of an SME to adapt to circumstances, to seek business opportunities, translates much quicker than for a large entity into the creation of new employment. They need the enabling environments. They need to have the environment to start, to grow, to generate profits. Well, Europe is certainly seeking to facilitate the world around SMEs in terms of policy making, in terms of regulation, an environment that's conducive to business and indeed access to finance. We have to provide different products to target different types of small and medium-sized enterprises. The EIB, based in Luxembourg, is unable to reach out to the millions of SMEs. However, true intermediaries, true local banks, true international banks, all of the market players that provide finance, we have a much larger outreach. At Exovite, we are developing a new technology to allow the people to have a better and faster recovery when they have a broken bone and muscle disease. 15 hospitals right now, it's using the, the Exovite technology. Using our electro-stimulation device connected to the skin of the patient can send information about the treatment to the hospital and help these people to help faster. Today, we don't have enough doctors for all the patients. With the innovation, we can help all these patients with less medical staff. Most of our Final beneficiaries are not known by the public. On the other hand, you have as well some names that are very well known by the public. If you take, for example, Skype. If you book your flights, you can check the internet via Skyscanner, for example. Both companies have been financed by the EIB Group. Equally compelling success stories are those of the companies that invest in their local community and that with the additional financing they are being provided by the EIB group at advantageous conditions, are able, for example, to hire young people. Mm -hmm.